<laughs> Is it? Is it focused? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll start with this. Okay. Come on now. Good. It's good. Good. It's good. Good. It's, oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. The Benny Davis. Oh. It's, it. it's taken five years and it finally happened. It finally happened. <laughs> Fantasy fulfilled. All right, guys, shut her down. Shut her down. I mean, there was, there's always a lot of buildup, you know, towards the 100th, it's a, it's a milestone and it's a big event, and, you know, but, you know, we were all on set really proud to have reached that, that point, so it was, it was pretty cool. To do something for the 100th episode, we wanted to do something that was kind of full circle, um, which, you know, turned out to be a good way to end the series as well. We knew it was the 100th episode, we always knew that. We didn't know it was the last episode when I actually started writing it, so I wasn't writing it to be the last episode of the series. I was writing it to be the 100th episode. It kind of worked out to be just as good either way. Yeah, I mean, it comes with a, with a certain degree of added pressure, I suppose, because there's just more attention on it. But, uh, you know, we kind of just essentially treated it like another episode. You know, the mood was light, uh, but reflective at the same time. Uh, and it was, it was, the toughest thing was just keeping everybody focused. Andy was in a difficult position because he had to shoot this big finale episode at the same time that it, he was dealing with the fact that it was the last episode and everybody knew it. It was a long episode to begin with. Those action-driven episodes where there's a lot of um, intercutting between different things and everything's happening fast, they tend to write longer. You have to write more material to fill the time because everything happens very fast. So, I mean, that's extra material that needs to be put on the schedule, so it's a lot makes for a long day. So there's a lot of pages per day to be shot, on top of the fact that everyone's moving a little bit slower because there's all these goodbye moments every two seconds because uh, it's the last episode and everybody's emotional and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, it wasn't like a... Uh, some of the SG-1 milestone episodes in the past that were, you know, very, very different in tone. You know, they were, you know, comedy episodes, basically, you know, and it, uh, this one was, was more of a, a, a straight-up uh, episode of Atlantis. For the 100th episode, it was a big deal to have Amanda tapping back on the show, no question about it. I mean, we, uh, uh, the, the season opener this year, Search and Rescue, we had Amanda, and that was the last time that we'd seen her this season. So to have her come back to, to finish the show, I thought was, uh, was fantastic. It was great seeing her, and she's such a pro. And, uh, you know, you can just rely on her to be, you know, a solid, great performer every time. When she wasn't going to be in part of season five, we knew we wanted to have her in, in some episodes, and so we essentially uh, did a deal for her to do two episodes minimum, and we knew that we wanted her for the first episode, and we knew that we it made sense to have her back for the last episode because that was the last episode of the season and the 100th episode, and then it turned out to be the last episode of the show as well. That's one of the things you do when you do like a 100th episode or some kind of special episode, an anniversary episode or whatever, you try to try to bring back characters you've had before, so we brought back Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh, what the hell are you doing here? Reassignment. More fun and adventure in the Pegasus galaxy. Show us what you got, please. We brought back a character from uh, SG-1, actually, uh, Major Davis, and uh, Gary, you know, uh, uh, who, uh, who plays uh, Walter Harriman, you know, guys like that, uh, who are just familiar within the franchise. It's nice to bring them back for those kinds of episodes. Originally, we were just going to do a card at the end saying, in memory of Don Davis, um, but we talked about it and we wanted it to be a little bit more than that. We wanted it to be the characters, honoring the character that he played. So that, so what we had to essentially say was that the, the character of General Hammond had died and have a scene in which characters react to that fact. And then, I, you know, I, I created this sort of fictional new ship, the Phoenix, in, in the alternate timeline that was the end of season four. And when we knew that we were gonna need ships, um, to deal with the, the threat in the 100th episode, I thought, okay, well, they could make that a reality. What was originally an alternate, rea an alternate timeline, sort of different future. Okay, well, now we're meeting up with that future in this reality, and there is a ship called the Phoenix that's about to come out, but we talked about the idea of, well, what if they change the name? The Phoenix? Actually, we're renaming it the General Hammond. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. We thought that was a kind of a fitting tribute 
for the character, but for Don, obviously. But 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 I, I thought it was kind of neat to have it be within the world of the show, have the characters honoring the character as opposed to just a card at the end honoring the actor. You know, I think it. I don't know. It just had a it had a cool kind of feel to it. It felt like something that that you know Don would like, basically. Uh, shot of the episode and um, frankly the last shot of the series we come full circle uh, we're going to start on everyone on the balcony we're going to pull away and reveal that the ship um, or the city is uh, uh, on earth and uh, you know we're going to pan off and see the Golden Gate Bridge and um, obviously I mean it's a bittersweet moment for all of us but for me especially yeah, generally speaking, the more people you have in the scenes, the longer it's going to take. And, uh, you know, certainly this episode was no exception to that. You know, having said that, I, I generally like team episodes. They're, they just tend to be the better ones, in my, in my opinion, but they're certainly a lot more difficult to shoot because they do take more time. It's just gathering everybody up and just getting them all onto the set and on their marks takes a heck of a lot longer when it's only two or three people. It's weird to be doing the last scene kind of not last. Like, I know this is just how it worked out and stuff, but it'll, you know, we'll do this kind of like big last emotional scene and then it'll be like, all right, moving on. Oh, I mean, look at Carl. It's a hard thing for, for a director to deal with, but you know, Andy, Andy's basically our go-to guy, you know, uh, has been uh, this season. I'm actually hoping that Andy will direct our movie, if that all plays out uh, and we, we get to do that, that would be great. There was no like sort of yelling at people, you know, to, 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 it was just kind of, you just, at a certain point, you just sort of sat back and let them have their moments, right? And just kind of go, okay, well, we'll do, we'll get this through this as fast as we can once everybody's finished uh, with their speeches and things like that. was wrapped you know we would we would pause and and uh, myself or Alex would would make the announcement that uh, ladies and gentlemen Mr. Jason Momoa is now wrapped from the show able to say all our goodbyes many many times over again I think it was like three or four days where there was the big you know when David was was wrapped and Jewel was wrapped and It was always, you know, the big clapping and the celebration and the speeches, and it felt like, okay, well, we should be done now, but no, we still have another day to go. And so then it was refocusing, and then, oh man, we're we're still going. It's the last day of Stargate Atlantis. The only guy here is Joe. He's the last one to be wrapped. We wrapped everybody else a couple of days ago. No, it's been good. It's, it's, uh, it's sort of bittersweet. Everybody's having fun, but at the same time, we're sorry to see it all come to an end. 
Yeah, our final day of shooting was was all the work relating to the F-302, and it was it was for me it was going to be the toughest day on the schedule, and it was the one that I'd sort of put the most sort of thought and prep into. It was a combination of practical and and effects work, and you know it was a lot of intercut scenes. So for Joe, it was it was it was tough for him to sort of know where we were all the time because there's there was literally like 25 or 30 scenes. I knew that that was going to be that Andy was just going to essentially just have to have a plan. And he had, he had storyboarded the sequence with the visual effects people, so he had it all kind of in his head. I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to do, so I hired another director to draw these pictures, so I'm just doing what they say. <laughs> we would also find specific points where, you know, where I knew that, that, that we needed to have particular uh, physical elements, like whether or not it was the, the simulated explosions out the windows, or particular points where Shepard's looking out a window and I know that we're going to continue off of his look to a visual effect. You know, things like that, some of those specific beats that we would go back and hit. And so they have to do all kinds of things. They do things with cranes and they do things with, you know, rear projection sky and all kinds of bits and pieces to make it more than just, you know, one camera on Joe sitting in a, in a chair, right? It's a, it's a really challenging thing to do, to do an elaborate sequence of a guy sitting in a cockpit of a ship. Um, uh, so I just basically just trusted Andy to, to, to know how to do that. He's done it before, he's done those kinds of sequences before. All I can say is watch the episode and you'll see the sequence is pretty awesome. It was tricky and, and I certainly didn't do as much as I'd initially hoped to do. I'd storyboarded the whole sequence. And again, because it was intercut with, with, um, with other scenes in the briefing room with Carter and, uh, and Major Davis, along with all the intercut visual effects. It was a very big visual effects sequence. That was a challenge, just keeping all those elements together. It's hard for the director and it's hard for the actors when you're, when you're acting in between moments uh, for big visual effects driven episodes. Those are, those are tough ones for them to do to begin with. And then all the other added baggage of the 100th episode and the last episode and all that stuff made it, made it a pretty challenging episode to do, I think. But, you know, watch the episode and you'll see the end result. I think it's pretty good. The darts are coming in too fast. It's a kamikaze run. Joe, it was kind of tough because he was uh, he was there right till the end, and he was basically you know uh, virtually by himself to finish the finish the show with him in the in the 302. And it's a wrap on Joe Flanagan. Hey. I honestly think this is the best crew I've ever worked with in my life, and um, earlier in the year when my dad passed away in the middle of shooting. I went back to my trailer. I wasn't quite sure what to do. And I wanted to be here. So you guys helped make this a great environment. And I love you guys. Especially myself, you know, I felt really, really proud to have gotten to that point because I know that it's, a, it's quite an achievement to make it that far in a series. There's not a lot of shows in television that can make it that far. And, uh, you know, we faced a lot, of, a lot of adversity over the years and, uh, uh, you know, I think it was a, a real testament to the show. It, was, it's, it just it continued to grow in popularity through the course of its five years and especially to be, you know, given the opportunity to direct the 100th. I mean, it's, again, it's a milestone that, uh, you know, all shows try to, try to achieve. It's been a great five years, hasn't it? How many shows go five years these days? It's been fantastic. I'm sure on behalf of myself and the rest of the production crew and Andy, we want to thank you very sincerely, every one of you. Thank you You've very much. You've been fantastic. Everybody. You've done an amazing job. Thank you very much, guys. Oh,